Hello, this is Susie Berry of Serene Senses. I am recording this to you live through Facebook. I've been trying to figure out how to use Zoom for the past little while. I have been given this new um, Facebook Live production studio that I'm still kind of getting to grips with that I am really, really confused about. Um, so if you can see this video, um, and you're wanting to join in now, then give me a little thumbs up to let me know that you're watching. Um, I'm gonna be spending today teaching Eden Energy Medicine, I'm specifically teaching uh, about the spleen, how you can work with it. The spleen has to do with worries and your worries can affect everything in particular i am worried about the fact that i shouldn't have stopped just doing that last video that i should have just continued with it um because nobody is currently joined in with this one uh right <laughs> okay right um well i'm just gonna continue doing this one and um Hopefully people will join in at some point. If not, well, I'll record it. It will be recorded. It'll be put up on YouTube because the whole point of tonight is not to worry. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to let myself be bothered by worries. Um, if you've got any questions or any queries, um, please let yourself join in on the comment box. I'm going to be um, doing about... 45 minutes teaching Eden Energy Medicine techniques to help you calm down. And then I'm going to be doing a 45 minute meditation. Um, so I'm very, very grateful tonight. My mum has a diploma in hypno hypnosis, hypnotherapy, and I have a diploma in transformative meditation and deep relaxation therapy. And um, my mum has been very, very nice in letting me use a cloak deepener. My mum is also a wonderful writer. And I'm really happy to say that I have just sent off her book to the printers. Wrote a hypnotherapeutic deepener um, that I'm going to be using later on today. So I want to say thanks to Stella Berry before I start. And um, thank you, everybody, to the... Eden Energy Medicine group, in particular Claire Willocks, who has been doing a lot of work on me recently to help me calm down, and all of the lovely members out there who have been delivering different Eden Energy Medicine online classes, um, Natasha Middleman and um, Liz Crichton, to name a couple, and um, I've been really grateful. So really happier to deliver a little bit of Eden Energy Medicine for you guys. So the reason that I'm deciding to work with spleen today is that I normally work in um, Flemington House doing Reiki shares and Eden Energy Medicine classes. And the pupils there asked me to do a different meridian every week. So my first week there, I was working with them teaching about kidney meridian sadly the second week i had to come home and uh, luckily for you guys i decided to teach all about triple warmer because triple warmer deals with panic um it seemed to me everybody was panic buying and i thought that was probably the the best um, thing to work with and it seems now kind of looking at the state of the world that panic has gone down from panic into generalized worry um so the reason being is that when you're panicked, your triple warmer steals energy from your spleen meridian and um, your spleen can't work as well as it as it does, as it should do. Um, so last week I was focusing on balancing triple warmer so that um, your triple warmer ener energy was kind of brought down. It wasn't pushing out as much adrenaline into your system. You can go back to la last week's videos to kind of follow up on that if you are still feeling panicked. Um, but today, rather than 
working with the panic, we're going to diminish your level of worry by bringing up your spleen energy. Now, for most people, your spleen energy gets diminished. The way that I like to look at meridians is that they kind of are like motorways of energy around the body and different parts of those motorways get traffic jams, get big parts where there's no energy moving at all and then you get crashes. Um, crashes I like to think of as the place where you've got pain going on um, and it's basically my job to be an energetic policeman kind of making sure that the traffic kind of flows nice and easily. Um, so I'm going to guide you all in how to police your own energy around your, your spleen meridian today. So um, generally speaking, when you're worried, your spleen gets depleted in energy. Um, so most of the exercises that I'm going to be teaching today help to boost that. However, for some people, you might feel like you actually need, a, need um, it to be brought down before it gets pushed back up again. Um, so if you are part of that 10% of people that don't have energy that kind of runs the same way as everybody else, then feel free to give me a personal message after this class or write a little comment because um, I'll see the comments coming up. Uh, it's nice to see Richard, Janice, and Michael all popping up on the side of my screen. Great to, to see you all there. If you've got any questions, then please go ahead and ask. That's totally fine. Um, I will be starting off um, with a couple of, so I've written down about 10 different exercises I'm going to be going through. If you can, then stick with me to the end. If you've got to go, absolutely fine. You can always catch up on the recording, or you might just feel, wow, that one exercise made me feel great. I'm going to go and eat my dinner. And that's totally fine. <laughs> so um, let's see how we, how we get on. So, okay, so I've got a wee, wee notepad of everything that I want to do today. Um, so I've got a little message from Les. Um, yes, right, okay, I'm just going to uh decided so oh, lovely liz Crichton has just told me that she's got this uh, uh zoom meeting reminder um to ask her if she wants to join my meditation um so um if you have joined on and you've got a Zoom appointment with me, then um, that's absolutely fine. If uh, if you have, then just continue here on Facebook. <laughs> um, so, okay, it should come up. Um, So I'm not going to get too worried about that. One of my friends wants to join me live on Facebook. Um, Michael, you've said, can I join via Zoom? Zoom is being really difficult. As far as I can see, I can only get people Zooming in on um, if I have integration, um, if I pay for it, basically. So if you really, really like the class, then you can always sign up on Patreon and then I can get it zoomed in next time but for some reason I can't use Zoom I'm just using Facebook Live um, and I'm not going to worry about that <laughs> just now um, so the reason I'm not going to worry about that is because I know how to flush my spleen and I'm going to show you how to do it too <laughs> so um, great Liz has jumped in nice to see you so um, I'm going to sh start off showing you how to um, flush your spleen meridian. So to do that, I'm going to jump up on my feet. So if you've been comfy, um, get up on your feet just now. We're all going to 
do a little bit of spleen flushing together. Okay. I'm just going to move my chair out of the way. Okay. So your spleen that actually ends here. And if you bring your hands, you might kind of massage around your sides and you'll probably find a bit of a sore spot. And once you get to it, give it a good hard tap. Just stimulate that spleen meridian to just start working, start shifting a little bit and tap it as hard as you can. Now you might find it's quite sore, particularly if you've been worried today. Just breathe in nice and deeply and let all those worries go. And from there, so you're going to start off by going backwards on your spleen meridian. So you're going to come up to your armpit and then right down the sides of your body and you're going to come off your big toe. So just squeeze your big toe once you get to it. And then come straight on up three times. Down to the big toe again, back up. Once more. Okay, we're just going to do that once more, just flushing your spleen. So I'm going to go down super, super slowly, first of all. And you're just going to imagine as you do so that you're just going to take all of your worries and just push them right off your body. So just taking any worries from your sides up to your armpits, down the sides of your bodies, pushing all of your worries off of your legs. And this time, just tap the ends of your big toe. Just give them a good hard tap, really stimulating that spleen meridian to start working, and then bringing that spleen energy up at the sides of your body. <sighs> Lovely. Right. Okay, so now that you've flushed your spleen meridian, and you've tapped the end points. So it ends just um, at the sides here. It starts right at your big toe. So it's really good to give your feet a good rub. You make sure your, your big toe is nice and strong and just pulling up that energy. So um, the next thing that you can do um, actually, I'm going to keep keep you on your feet. I shouldn't have sat down there. <laughs> so um, this is a great little stretch. So your lats in here get really nicely stretched out because um, you want your lats to be getting moved. Energy needs space to move. So you need to be able to stretch out all these muscles. So your lat muscles is connected in energetically to your spleen and you really want these muscles to be nicely stretched so you're going to bring your hands to your back thumbs facing forwards and just breathe in and as you breathe out just pull your elbows together behind you and you should feel it around in at your sides and let go okay and again just breathing in And the closer that you can bring your elbows together, the more you'll feel that stretch in at your sides. Now, you might have just heard a little ping on my phone. And um, I've found that one of the things that's actually started to get me worried over our time together is little notifications, little pings. And yesterday I decided to cut all media <laughs> notifications um, for groups and so on and only focus in on the stuff that I felt like I really needed 
Um, so that's why I was saying if you feel like you can join in for one minute of this, then great. Um, if you feel like you can join in for all of it, then great. But I don't want anybody feeling like they have media burnout from watching too many screens, um, mainly because one of the other things that I really care about, that I'm passionate about, is looking after your eye health. I have a whole series of videos on eye health on my website at serenesenses.co.uk. If you go onto the blog page, you'll find a 30 day video about looking after your eyes. And um, over the past couple of weeks, I appreciate I've been looking at screens a lot more than I would normally. So take care of your eyes. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, just, just look after yourself. Um, so next thing you can do is uh, Darth Vader breathing. So I really love this. Um, and we're going to do it while we hold on to spleen neurovasculars. So um, I was explaining the concept of neurovasculars as part of the, the triple warmer um, page, um, tri triple warmer video I did last week. Neurovasculars amaze me. They are so powerful. Um, if you have worked with Reiki at all, then you will almost definitely feel a pulse or a tingling or a heat when you're working with these points. Even if you never have, you might pick it up anyway. Um, it's really nice. If you if you do know Reiki, then you can imagine working with symbols or lights when you're holding this. Um, so one of the concepts behind Eden Energy Medicine is that each organ has a different element and each element has a different colour that helps to balance it. And the colour that goes along with spleen is the colour yellow, which is springtime, daffodils um, and sunshine. <laughs> so I really like it when I'm holding on to the points. I'm just going to show you to think about sunshine just going into your, your brain. Um, Simona Moore, um, she shared a beautiful um, little um, meditation last night about breathing in gold into my brain. It was delightful. If you can follow Simona on her um, page, my one-to-one -one yoga, uh, it's been great this week as well. So, spleen your vasculars. <laughs> So where they are, um, you're just going to bring your two fingers and the thumb together and just about an inch up your ear. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. Right, so from here, you're going to gently breathe in and you're going to imagine that you are the most calm Darth Vader that there is in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I like the breathing. It's, it's called Darth Vader breathing. <laughs> um, and uh, I've heard it also being called dragon breathing um, or traditionally the, the yogis know it as Ujjayi breathing. Um, so while you're holding these points, you can do that breathing. And what you do is you imagine that you've got a straw at the back of your throat and you're going to breathe in and out through your nose and you're going to make a really raspy noise as you do so. So just breathing in and out together. So 
that was my first kind of jerky burpy shift of the day <laughs> which is totally normal for me i'm so used to it i very barely ever even mention it but for people that are joining me live on facebook they might not really understand or know what's going on with that and they must have might have just jumped on and seen a weird woman going like this and barking on the screen and that's totally fine with me <laughs> because one of the things that I've learned really quickly with Eden Energy Medicine is just to accept whatever shifts are going on energetically um, with people practicing Reiki I've found that some people will have gurgling in their stomach when I'm working on them some people will shirk some people will have hiccups and just whatever happens to your body just let yourself go let yourself be with it um one of the great factors about being um locked in isolation i guess is the fact that you can <laughs> you don't have to worry about how anybody else might react to you um so yeah just um acknowledge where you're at when i first started having energetic shifts i kind of thought oh this is really horrible i really wish i didn't do it but over time i've kind of thought to myself well I know something is shifting, something is moving, um, and that's right for me. And uh, yeah, it's been absolutely fine. So, spleen neurovasculars up here, they send an energetic impulse to your spleen to calm down. And if you can hold them yourself, then great. You can always um, set yourself up on pillows. If you found holding this really relaxing, then I welcome you to do it while you're listening into the meditation. You know, you can always sit back with your hands and some pillows and just chill out listening to the meditation when I come to it. If you didn't find it relaxing, then you can hold one of the other positions that I'm going to guide you into, or you can get a partner to hold these if you are lucky enough to be um, isolated with somebody that's willing to hold onto your head, then you can always just hold on these points they're really great particularly if there's something that you are worried about you can hold these points and talk to somebody about what what's going on in your mind what you're worried about and this kind of helps them ease into it and relax and um, so yeah I find it really helpful and um, personally like I was saying to just imagine that golden light moving through and to do it with that Darth Vader breathing so the Darth Vader breathing, it brings energy right from the back of your nose, right down to your stomach. So the deeper you can go, the better. And the raspier you can make it. Well, actually, that's not necessary. You don't have to make it really loud and that raspy. It, it would work just as well if you're getting worried in, in the supermarket and you just kind of want to do that breathing um, kind of under your your uh, voice I guess <laughs> um, you would just kind of yeah you don't have to really um, bring it as, as much as that so okay so after you've done your spleen neurovasculars, I'm going to show you exactly where you'd find your spleen alarm points. So when you've been worried for so long and it's become a chronic thing in your body that you're carrying this worry around with you, um, these points can be really sore. Now, they are particularly sore on people with autoimmune diseases. Now, I was, as I was saying last week, your triple warmer steals energy from your spleen anytime you're under stress. And that includes physical stress. So when you have an autoimmune disease, it is very, very, very common for there to be a triple warmer and spleen imbalance. So if you have one, watching last week's video together with this and doing all the different exercises will be really super, super helpful for you. Um, however, this point that I'm just about to show you might be very, very sore. If it is, do it little and often. Okay, so where it is, is on the side of the body, just where the end of the rib cage lies. So you, where you've got this kind of V and then you're just going to kind of prod around there. Um, and you're going to do the same on the other side. And you're just going to kind of go back and forth between the two.
I'm going to sit down for myself just while I'm massaging these. Now, the affirmation that goes along with spleen when you're working with it is, I nourish my body with love. And you might be working these points and going, how? These do not feel like they are nourishing my body with love. If that is the case, then ease off and just gently tap them or take the time to just stretch out that muscle, give it a light massage. You don't need to really, I mean, I'm, I'm working at it quite hard, but that's because I'm quite used to it. If you're working this point and you're going, ow, that's really sore, then just take your time to just stretch out, okay? And if it's super, super sore, then you can get one of these lovely little, little energetic, um, I like to call them helpers, and um, you can get it. This is quite a cutesy one that cost me about five for a little, five, five or for a little angel. And um, this one cost me 50p. <laughs> so um, yeah, either way, they basically do the same job. If you're finding it super sore, then you can just take it um, and work in your, your auric field. Um, and you just spin this little crystal ball just at that energetic alarm point and that helps your spleen um, and you can work up the whole spleen line um, to help you let go of worries and this just helps nourish your your auric body with love okay Now, if you can't, if you don't have one of these to hand, um, you can always just press in along your whole spleen line along your um, along your torso, and uh, that helps shift it energetically. And you can use the back of your hands to work with the energetic polarity on both sides of your hands, just pressing in. Okay. So, um, right, so the next bit, so spleen, um, it's one of the general uh, meridian pathways. Donna Eden has also seen it as a radiant circuit. So radiant circuits are all the pathways in your body that bring about joy um, and they can affect lots of different aspects of your body. Um, they were formed when your zygote was first being split up and she sees your spleen as working in a same similar way that uh, the radiant circuits do in as as does triple warmer it kind of helps so many other parts of the body it kind of affects everything um, so what I'm going to show next is what's called the spleen circ sex radiant hold um, so in the middle of your breastbone, you have um, your circulation sex alarm points. So your circulation sex traditionally uh, is the meridian that works with your pericardium. And your pericardium is the bag that your heart sits in. So give that a good rub right in the center of your chest. <sighs> It can be quite tight for a lot of people. Um, um, if it's sore, then just hold it for a little while. You're going to hold it together with the end of your spleen meridian. So remember right at the start where I was getting you to tap here and you found a sore point. Find that sore point again and you're going to hold it together with circuit. You're just going to hold here for a little while. So, um, probably next week, I think I'm going to be working with Cirque Sex, unless anybody particularly jumps up and says, oh no, I want to learn something else next week. <laughs> but then the next week, I think this is probably going to be my next port of call. Um, because triple warmer is all about panic out there, whereas 
circulation sex, the pericardium relates more to an inward sense of panic and um, you know feeling a bit overwhelmed. So I'm going to um, focus in on that next week, I think. Um, for just now, this is your first little introduction to working with Cirque Sex. And the affirmation that goes along with Cirque Sex is, I take excellent care of my heart. So while you're holding here, you can think about different things that you can do to take excellent care of your heart and nourish your body with that. And I'm going to carry on doing the Darth Vader breathing, the dragon breath or Ujjayi breath, however you want to call it or remember it. Um, and I'm going to breathe in that golden light into myself. Okay, so I've just felt a nice shift within my body just now. So I'm going to move over to the opposite side. So one hand in the middle, one hand to the opposite side. And uh, so the colour that goes along with Cirque Sex or pericardium is the colour red. So you can imagine warming a nice fire at your chest, right, right around your torso nourishing your heart and really protecting it, making that heart a real heart inside. And just stoking that fire of your heart with your breath. Okay. I'm just going to open my window. <sighs> so when I first started, there was light coming through and you can actually see, well, it looked like I had a big halo. So, um, but I just wanted to um, make my background a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so um, I... Okay, what am I going to do next? Ah, okay, I'm going to maybe perhaps put you all in a little bit more pain. <laughs> so, um, explain your lymphatics. Um, your, your neural lymphatics are so, so, so important. Um, so many people forget about them, even if they've been learning even energy medicine for ages, they don't really want to do them because they're sore. Um, but what I've found, what Donna generally tends to tell most people is that if it's sore, then you need it. And uh, one of the very first things that Donna said to me when I met her in front of an audience of 3,000, no, 300 people was, I love Susie Berry because she doesn't wear a bra. <laughs> yes, I am quite lucky in that respect. I don't have one. The reason being um, what Donna does with a lot of people is she gets people to take out their um, underwire, their bra, because your underwire actually sits on the lymphatic system for your liver and your spleen, uh, liver and stomach, right under on the underwire, and about an inch or so below, then you've got the spleen. 
so if you do wear a bra make sure when you take it off at night give these points a really good rub and um, so i'm not going to work directly on, on on where your underwear would be but if you could just go about an inch below then you'll find your your spleen your lymphatics um, and give that a good rub and you might find that they're really really sore so at the very start we were working with the end of the spleen meridian working around here some people tend to find these really sore usually if these aren't sore these ones are <laughs> um, in my case both are a little bit sore and um, because i spent a lot of the day worrying um i was trying to uh, connect with my sister and she got lost and well we, we lost one another in the cask embrace because my phone died and i couldn't find her and i was quite upset and um yeah i was kind of getting frustrated i really should have just thought how to do this but i decided to just walk through the braise on my own had quite a nice walk um but yeah when i did eventually find her i, I said to her you know uh, i feel a little bit um it's, it's a bit unfair guiding everybody through how to get over worries when i've been slightly worried <laughs> we did eventually connect with one another and i got to pet her dog which immediately relieves worries if you have a dog i'm so damn jealous of you <laughs> um yeah if you if you if you don't have the ability to do all these great exercises a dog is the next best thing <laughs> so if that's sore for you to massage you can always just tap it so um donna teaches the four thumps and uh two of those thumps relate to your spleen because your spleen is so important and um, giving your your spleen a good thump in the morning really helps to get things going <sighs> okay so hopefully you've all given yourself some good loving nourishing thumps or massages or just a little rub okay and i think now oh yeah we're gonna go i'm gonna show you where the anchor and wonder point is because i found it really relaxing and i did it myself earlier on and then it was really chilled out I'm not going to hold it for very long because for those of you who held here earlier on and have lots of space and lots of pillows to relax while you're doing the meditation, then you can just hold here and chill out. For those of you that can't do that, then holding the start of your triple warmer meridian at your temples together with the end of your triple end of your spleen meridian just here can be super 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 relaxing so if you're going to listen to the meditation probably one of the few meditations where i'm going to advise you to lie on your side and chill out watching this or lying lying your back with your hands on the the head points whichever feels more comfortable for you um but yeah you can totally just snuggle up into the fetal position like this um either side um actually you could go on your right hand side if you're if you find it really really comfy but it is naturally better for your heart to lie on your left hand side so if you can left hand tempo left hand um uh, right hand onto your your spleen edge warmer and just lie down and just relax and uh, let go while i'm running through meditation which is coming up shortly um before i go into the meditation um i'm just going to i'm going to show you this wonderful book so i have here eden energy medicine it's donna eden's book and she has all of the meridian points for holding different acupressure points on the innersource.net website and um usually if i've got a client in person then i would test to see whether they are over energized or under energized and whether or not they need to have their spleen meridian boosted before it gets reduced or if they can just handle a general reduction um so i would normally um show you how to do a spleen meridian test um but i think think i'm gonna leave it for just now i was going to do show you how to do 
general spleen meridian acupuncture, acupressure. Um, but if you would like to know that, then you can always PM me about that. I think I've given you more than enough on just balancing spleen and how to work with that on its own. So with no further ado, I am going to guide you into meditation. So please relax and prop yourself up in your bed with your pillows, either like so, connecting in with your spleen neurovasculars or holding on to your temple with your left hand and using your right hand to relax into spleen 21. And uh, I'm going to stop for a little while, get you nice and settled in. And uh, please take your time to um, just settle in if you want. If you've had enough for just now, that's totally fine. Um, if you want to stop and perhaps listen to the meditation before you go to bed, then that's totally fine as well. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to set it up so that you can either listen in now and you will be woken up or you can listen later and go to sleep. <laughs> um, for just now, I think I'm going to stop teaching Eden Energy Medicine. Um, if you want to learn how to do spleen three pointing with acupressure, then let me know um, and I'll go through that at some other point. But I think that's more than enough exercises for just now. So... I'm um, going to just pause and I'm going to give myself a glass of water and you snuggle in wherever you are. Okay, right, so, okay, so I'm going to start off with a nice little bit of sound healing. So I hope you appreciate the different bells that I'm going to use and just um, relax wherever you are. So just a little bit of introduction once more, if you have just joined me now. My name is Susie Berry and I run Serene Senses and I am a massage therapist, an Eden Energy Medicine practitioner and a guided meditation and deep relaxation therapist. So I'd like you to take you through a guided meditation today to release any of your worries. So wherever you are, make yourself comfortable Make sure that you have some water, um, either just now or before or after when you want to come out of the meditation. And um, please give me any feedback afterwards. If you can't hear me, um, say so now or within the next few minutes. <laughs> um, because after I start the meditation, I will not be typing at all. Um, so uh, because mainly because I close my eyes <laughs> to help me concentrate um, so I hope you appreciate and enjoy and thank you very much please uh, if you want to you can put the video off and uh, just listen to my voice and thank you very much okay mm -hmm. okay
So wherever you are now, I'd like you to allow your mind's eye to just focus in on the very top of your head and gently begin to scan from your head down to your feet. Just checking in with every muscle, not trying to change anything, but just acknowledging all the hard work that your muscles have had to do to bring you to this point here and now. Just thanking your mind for taking in all the information that you had to focus on for the past little while and just breathing out any worries, just letting your scalp relax and gently closing your eyes over, allowing all the tension around your eyes to release, just feeling easier Letting your tongue release from your jaw. Letting your jaw muscles relax. As you just take a moment to thank your neck muscles for keeping your head held high. And your shoulders, they tend to hold on to everything that you feel that you should be doing. So you can take a moment to just Bring your shoulders up to your ears. And as you sigh all out, you can just let all of your worries release. Just knowing in this current moment, there is absolutely nothing that you should be doing. Just raising your shoulders up, breathing in, letting them just sink back down to where they should be lying, feeling that release, knowing that in this moment there is nobody that needs anything, nobody that wants anything, there's nobody that you have to be. You can bring your attention to your chest. Allow your chest to gently rise and fall. Feeling each breath as a gentle gift from the universe. A gift that you can appreciate every single moment of your life if you choose to. A gift that you can hold on to for a few seconds as you feel it moving into your chest and gently releasing as you breathe out, sending that gift back out to Mother Nature, to any plants nearby. Feeling that interconnection with the whole universe as you gently breathe in and out. Bring your attention down to your abdomen now. Feeling your abdominal muscles. Gently expand and contract with every gift you take in and breathe back out again. And without any sense of push or pull, just feeling those muscles expand and contract a little bit more with each breath. Almost as if the air is falling into your lungs without you trying at all.
And as you breathe in and out, gently and easily, you can feel a sense of peace all around you. You can feel that ease just moving through your whole body gently and easily. And as you breathe in and out, you can feel energy moving down now into your thighs and off your feet. Feeling that golden light having moved from the very top of your head down to your feet. And as you breathe in again, you can draw that golden energy from your feet up through your whole body and down the sides. Allowing it to cascade through your entire body. as it does so, you can feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed with each and every breath that you take in and out. With each breath that you take in and out, you can relax more and more. Any little noises that you can hear from outside, from your phone, from noises within my room, will only allow you to relax more and more deeply with each and every breath that you take in and out. Knowing that whenever you want to, you can return from this meditation with a sense of peace and calm, fully in control, relaxed and at ease. And once you have that sense of ease and peace fully within your body, you can easily allow yourself to let your mind be fully open to see yourself standing on the top of an elegant flight of broad marble stairs, holding on to a gleaming brass handrail. And as you stand there, ready to descend, you are brought a long cloak of the palest green. And as you fasten it comfortably around your neck, allowing it to fold in gentle folds all around your body. You can see what fabric it's made of. You notice whether it's soft warm wool or light swirling silk, if it is shining satin or smooth heavy velvet. Whatever fabric you choose today, you know that this is a magic and protective cloak and that as you go down the stairs, the colour of your cloak will deepen with each stair that your foot touches. So now go down the stairs, counting yourself through the steps of an ever-deepening, increasingly enjoyable trance, starting with the number 10 and continuing down to zero and noticing that as you do, that as the colours of your cloak deepen, so does your level of comfort and relaxation. 
on the tenth step. The colour of your cloak is a green so near to white that it reminds you of the curved petals of a water lily unfolding at dawn. As you step down to the ninth step, the colour of your cloak turns a little deeper. And now it is the colour of the sweet curled inner leaves at the heart of an iceberg lettuce. Moving to eight now, you step down and your cloak now deepens to the fresh, vibrant colour of tiny birch leaves, newly released from sticky buds at the beginning of spring. On to the seventh step, go deeper now. And as you step down, the colour of your cloak turns to yellow-green, that khaki of colour cam color camouflage of the sky. Take a deep breath and move down to number six. As your cloak's colour turns grass green, the colour of soft distant lawns laid out in a vast landscaped garden. With number five, that's very good. You become more and more relaxed as you go deeper. With your cloak turning sage green, you can almost smell the scent of herbs planted out in a kitchen garden. Taking a deep breath as you smell that sage before you move on to step number four. As you gaze at your cloak, it deepens to the colour of the green fire, the heart of an emerald's green jewel. Three, moving down now. Your cloak changes to blue green the colour of the incoming turquoise waves of a tropical ocean flowing swiftly onto white sand. And two, as you're becoming even more deeply comfortable, your cloak also deepens to a forest green, the colour of dim ferns on the forest floor at twilight. One. And listen really carefully as your cloak turns deepest green. The green of old wine bottles waiting down in the dark of a cool, quiet cellar protected of fine vintage wine. Zero. As you take this last step, you are now in a deep trance, totally relaxed and at peace. There is lots of time. So take a deep, easy breath and the sure knowledge that this trance is like a cloak, protecting you keeping you safe, comfortable and calm. And in this trance state, you are absolutely free to keep your hands relaxed with one hand at your temple and the other hand on your side or up on your senior vasculars at your head if that makes you comfortable and relaxed and fully at peace. However, if you wish to move your hands, if you're feeling perhaps restless at all, then you can bring them 
to the lung points on your left wrist and onto the front of your ankle bone, touching along your spleen meridian. It's spleen five. If you know where those points are, you can hold them. If it makes you relaxed. If not, place your hands now wherever you feel would bring you a sense of nourishing your body with love. In the sense of trance, you are fully at ease, capable of breathing deeply, drawing in energy and inspiration, breathing out stale energy and grief, and nourishing your body with love. As you find yourself at the bottom of those stairs, you can walk forward, drawn by the slight sounds of a crackling fire up ahead. Knowing that that crackling fire will bring you into a sense of ease and peace. Let yourself be warmed by the fire for a little while drawing that green cloak all around you, that deep, deep green, making you feel that sense of peace and ease throughout your whole body. As you warm yourself by the fire, you can breathe deeply, knowing this place of peace is there for you. You can watch the flames. You may notice images of sparks. You may be in a place that's in the open air where you can hear wolves off in the distance. But knowing that you are fully safe and secure just as you are. Or you may be inside, feeling that warmth, that heart, deep within yourself and in front of your eyes. Connect in with that fire wherever you are. Allow it to burn. Feel that golden light move through your whole body. Knowing that wolves may be off in the distance, but they are not there to harm you. Your cloak will protect you. You are fully safe and secure, just where you are. This is time for you to nourish your body with love. To protect yourself. Next to the fire you find a little notebook and in that notebook you can take the time now to write down any of your worries. Those worries can be absolutely anything at all. Could be what's going on just now, or it could be something in your past that's bothered you that you want to let go of. What worries are holding heavy in your heart are stopping you from nourishing your body with love, or stopping you from feeling inspired by what's out there. Take the time now. To write down those worries into your notebook. 
feel what's right for you in this moment. If your hands are holding on to your ankle and your wrist, you may feel a sense of pulsing through your body just now. If they are not holding on there, that is absolutely fine. But if they are, then you can take this moment to swap to the other side. Bringing one hand a few inches above your thumb and the other the inside of your ankle bone. And just gently pressing there without any sense of pressure. You're just stimulating the spleen and lung meridian to talk to each other. If you want to place your hands in these positions, you can. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. You can take this moment to just breathe deeply and write down all those worries onto your notepad. And that's an absolutely perfect way to note down your words, let go of them, and work through them. Just gently breathing in and out, and allowing yourself to feel warmed by the fire in front of you, keeping yourself fully at ease and at peace. like you've really noted down every last worry that's on your mind right now. Whether it's something from the past hour, past day, past week, or even the past year, whatever has been holding you back from nourishing your body with love, you're going to take this moment to write it on that paper. And then take that piece of paper out from the notebook and rip it up. Small, small, small. Make those worries as small as you possibly can before you add them to the fire. And watch them burn before you. Seeing them turn into ashes before your eyes. can hear wise owls off in the distance, knowing this is a time to be inside, to look after oneself. Just releasing any worries now. You're outside, you might see those sparks flying off into the distance. And if you're inside, well, you might just see smoke through your window. Knowing those worries have just turned into smoke. See them all puff away off into the distance. You no longer need to hold on to them. Now is not the time for life. Pull that green cloak that little bit closer around you. Feeling yourself really at ease and at peace. Feeling that fire burn in front of you. in the white hot heat 
her heart melt just a bit. And as you feel that looking after your heart, you can continue with holding on to the different acupressure points. And I'm going to guide you through. If your hands are still holding on to your temple and to your side, that's absolutely fine. If they're still holding on to the your vasculars, that's absolutely fine if you're just holding your head. Or if you've chosen to let your hands relax wherever is comfortable for you, then that's still okay. If you'd like to join with the next set of acupressure points, then you can just curl your pinky finger down onto your hand. And with your other hand, gently hold on to the edge of your big toe on the inside. If you're comfortable to do so, that's absolutely fine. If it's not comfortable for you, then you don't need to do it. With your hands in this moment, you're just going to release any worries about the possibility that you might not be worthy of love. That is not a worry that you need to be aware of in this current moment. Take this moment to love yourself deeply and completely, whatever that means for you. It might be that you need to just breathe that little bit deeper. Lie into your bed and let yourself sink in. Or if you're in seated doing this meditation, let your back straighten a little bit more, taking any tension out of your butt cheeks. Whatever you feel you need to do in this moment to love yourself deeply and completely, do that, whatever that means for you. This is a time for you to nourish your body with love. Breathing in gently and deeply. Feeling your heart warm. You might notice crickets off in the distance. Just feeling that oneness with nature, whether you're inside it, or if you're carried away in the cabin, either is completely fine. Whatever is right for you, that's what you need to do for yourself. And now that you've let go of all of your worries, I'd like you to take a moment in your mind's eye to write down things that you love about yourself into the notebook. What you feel passionate about. What you want to set on fire inside yourself. What embers do you wish to stoke up within your life deeply. Write that in your notebook. Again, you can keep your hands on your head and your temples and your sides. Or if you've been following the acupressure points, then you can take this moment to swap over to the opposite side, curling your pinky in towards your hand and then bringing your hand onto your big toe. All of these points with your hands are absolutely optional. 
you can find them all in different places. You can message me out with this meditation afterwards. This is a time for you to decide for yourself what you want to bring into your life that you feel passionate about. What embers you want to stoke up for yourself. Take this time to love yourself deeply and completely. Think about what you can do over the next year to really invigorate yourself with love, to nourish your body with love. What passionate things can you set fire to in the depths of your soul? If you can, that is beautiful. Feel that glow within your fire. Feel that fire burn deep in your heart. Feel that golden light radiate through your whole body. And once you have that page, or perhaps many pages, you're going to take it out make it into a little cone for yourself and just blow into that cone stoke up the fire can you make this fire burn brighter use those passions deep within to burn your fire make it as bright as you possibly can feel it stoke up deep within. Know what it means for you. What it may mean for others. When that fire is burning so bright, you can take your papers add them to the fire, see those flames leap higher and higher, watch the sparks, wherever your hands are now, you can keep them there relaxed, or you can bring them to either side of your big toe. And they are going to stimulate your spleen and your liver together. To nourish your body with love and be kind to yourself. Pulling that dark green cloak all around you. As you watch the golden flames flicker in front of you. Feeling that golden light deep inside. Know that you're fully protected. At one with nature. Take this moment to think about what things you can do over the next week to be kind to yourself. You may wish to follow some other meditations. You may wish to find out about different acupressure massage that you can do in yourself. You may decide to do a song challenge for yourself and listen to something that makes you feel joyful. Or you may decide to do nothing at all for a little bit each day. And that's also great. Absolutely valid. If you want to, you can move your hands over the other tool now. 
only if it makes you feel calm. If not, keep your hands wherever brings you the most joy. Like I said, this is time for you to be kind to yourself, to nourish your body with love. Don't get too caught up in the hand positions. If you know them, you can follow them. For the moment, I'm just going to allow you to feel that nourishment at last. Know that that warmth will stay within your heart. Next to the fire, you find a little bucket of sand or a large bucket if your fire has gone quite large. You're going to use it to just gently connect with the air to put out those flames. Now that you're warm, knowing that you can reignite that fire any time that you want to let go of your worries or reignite your passions. You can return to that fire whenever you need to, just by taking a few deep breaths, bringing yourself into a sense of stillness. Wrap that cloak a little bit more around you. As you begin to walk back up the steps, Gently coming back up the steps, having put out the fire. And as you walk back up the steps, your cloak becomes lighter and lighter. So that in a few moments time, you find yourself back and the third step with your cloak that beautiful light green and once I count down one to three when I do, you'll find yourself back in the here and now, just as you were before, but with one big difference, and it is this. You will keep with you as much as you need of these feelings of comfort, relaxation, and confidence as you need for the rest of today, and for tomorrow, and for the days to come. And each time we meet like this, you will relax even more deeply. And meantime, my voice will go with you. So ready to come back to the here and now. Returning, re-energized, full of joy. And looking forward to anything that life can give you. One, starting to come up. Two, closer to the surface, three, all the way up now. And if you wish to join us back in the here and now and get on with the rest of your day, then now is the time to open your eyes. If not, you can always drift off back into that sense of slumber. You can let me know where this meditation took you on your dream. If you're back here and now, then let me know from the feedback what you got out of the meditation. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you next week. I hope you enjoy it. And have a great night. Bye bye.